with long COVID, they do have histamine issues. It's typically secondary. It's from the bacterial dysbiosis that's created. There's three different forms of histamine conditions. You can have the a genetic form, that's MCAD. For those patients, we use the carnivore protocol. That's much lower, so we'll do the carnivore. Sometimes we'll do an antihistamine soup for, so like just green, green antihistamine soup for two weeks or so to reduce the histamines so that they can do a higher histamine protocol. Because again, healing is a high histamine process, right? We produce histamines every time a cell is regenerated. So, so they're gonna be symptomatic, but you can kind of control it a bit and taper it down. So before long COVID, all of the histamine clients that I saw typically did present with dysautonomia. It's very common to have that, but it is different than uh, post-viral histamine issues. Those are typically secondary. So for me, I had histamine issues as well, but I still did the GAPS diet, which is very high histamine, and just pushed through it, whereas you couldn't do that with an MCAD person. So, you know, essentially, I found with the long COVID uh, folks, you can typically push them through without addressing the histamine issues. I think actually there's a bit too much focus on the histamine. It's more of a, a nervous system issue for them.